Hey guys, this is Kevin at ChristianPhotoshops.com and today we're going to be doing a brand new Photoshop tutorial. And it's going to be on how to create this picture right here, or at least um, I'm going to teach you some of the techniques and tricks that I use to make this picture. It was a really fun picture to do. I was illustrating the Bible verse Ephesians 5.8, which talks about how before um, we become a Christian, before we get saved, we're just in complete darkness. And then after we get saved, um, it talks about being called into to God's marvelous light. So I wanted to do kind of a juxtaposition of um, some darkness and some light. And also I wanted to make it look a little scary too, just because it was fun to do. Um, but it was a really fun project. And I want to show you, um, I'm not going to show you how I did all of the paint strokes and everything, but I do want to show you a basic um, idea of how to create something like this. So um, what I did to make this picture, obviously we had the base picture. This is just a picture of a model. And um, so this is our background that we're mostly going to be working on. And then I had a picture of a tree texture. So this is just a close-up picture of a tree um, that I found some interesting um, like splinters and um, texture in the wood. And I really like this, this texture. So this is the one I used. And uh, so this is the background we're going to use for our picture. Um, now, one thing I do want to note, um, the, the, way, the way I'm going to do this, it does work well if your texture um, is the same skin color as um, the model. So in this case, the tree texture is kind of a, a light um, uh, yellow pinkish color, and the model skin is also the same color. So that actually works out very well in this situation. Um, you can probably use it in any skin color or any texture color, but it really works well when they're about the same in, in color. But so here's our, our background picture. We have the model. And um, what I wanted to do is just go ahead and bring this texture file in. So just bring the texture file in, just like that. So we have it, we have it around here. And the trick to this um, technique is the multiply blend mode. So you want to go ahead and change that um, blend mode to multiply. And so here is our picture. And what we're going to do is, for this tutorial, um, I'm not going to do um, all over the body. I'm not going to do the hands and the, the neck and stuff. I'm just going to do the face. Um, so what we want to do is the face area. And uh, so if you zoom in, you can tell uh, there's a few problems here. When you, when you multiply over it, it multiplies over everything, the skin and the hair and the eyes and the mouth and, and the nose and all of this stuff is um, being affected by the multiply blend mode. So we don't want that. We don't want the eyes and the nose and the mouth. We don't want them to even be visible. So what we need to do is kind of erase that. So we need more or less a faceless model. Now there's a lot of ways to do that. We could use the, the clone mask or, or the clone tool. We could use the content aware tool. There's a lot of tools we could do to just kind of erase the eyes and the nose and the mouth. But I don't want to go that complex. And uh, so all I want to do is just take a brush, make a brand new layer on top of everything and just take a brush. And then I just want to um, just start sampling these colors on the face and just paint over these features. So this is a very basic and very simple way to do it, but for what we're doing, it actually is gonna work very well. So all I'm doing is just sampling colors on the face. Some spots are brighter than others, some are darker, and just kind of sample some colors and just paint over all of those textures uh, of the mouth and the nose and the eyes, because um, we don't want those to show up. We just need a faceless model for this picture, and I didn't know of any faceless models, so we're gonna have to do all this in Photoshop. Uh, and that's fine. All right. Um, and this doesn't have to be perfect. You can spend some more time on it. Um, but for the tutorial's um, sake, I just want to show you um, just a basic way to get rid of um, the face. And um, you can also, if you zoom in, you can see where the, the eyelashes kind of go into the hair over here. And what we want to do is we want to get rid of that. And the, the be easiest way to do that is just to sample the colors of the hair and just kind of paint over, just paint some strands of hair going over those eyelashes. Just like that, I think would be, would be just fine. Just like that. And let's make sure none of this, none of these details, no eyebrows or eyelashes or, or anything is showing. And I went over a little bit here on, on the right side, so I'm just going to mask that out because I don't want that, that color going into the hair. 
and that looks good. Okay, before we go to the next step, I do want to add some noise on here. So um, the, your background image has plenty of noise because it was taken straight out of the camera, but all this drawing we just did is just straight from a brush, which doesn't have noise. So I just want to go ahead and add about um, maybe 1% to 2% of noise. We'll do about 1%, one, 1%, 1 I think is fine. Okay, so now we have a faceless model. I know it looks rough. Um, you could spend some more time on it, but I think that looks fine for what we need to do. So now we have our, um, our tree texture on top, and that looks good right there. So what you want to do is you want to scale this and put it wherever you think would look good. So I'm going to just, um, I'm going to put it about right in this area. Um, but you can put it, you know, in any, any orientation that you want. But I think something, something like that would probably be, would probably be cool looking. So something like that. Okay, all right, so that's where I want it. Um, you can, like I said, you can put it wherever you want to. And then what you wanna do is make a layer mask and then just make it invisible. So we don't, we don't have any visible part of the, the texture right now. And then we wanna take a white brush, a nice white soft brush, and we wanna paint back um, the, that texture in. So don't do 100% opacity, just do um, just do a lower opacity. And what we're going to do is you're going to paint, make sure you only paint on the face, don't go to the hair or anything like that. But you want to paint just on the face. And you can see these textures of, of the wood splinters. Um, they're all coming out. They look, they're looking good, just like that. And you don't want to do a perfect circle or anything like that. Just make just make an interesting little shape of a hole. And I think something like something like that would look pretty good. Okay, we'll do it like that. And we're just using a soft brush for now. We're going to do some some harder brush strokes in, in a minute. But let's do let's just do a soft brush for now. Make sure the inside of um, this hole is definitely. Um, it's completely turned to black, so the texture is completely coming through. And then on the, the sides, it can be a little bit softer. But definitely make sure that the center of it is nice and colored in. All right, that looks good right there. All right, so now we have a nice hole in the, in the face. And um, what we want to do is we want to paint back part of the skin. So... What we'll do is, so we were painting white on the texture, which reveals the texture, and that looks great. But now we want to paint black on here, and this is gonna bring the skin back. Now this is where you're gonna spend most of your time at. And um, I spent about three hours painting all this, and I'm not gonna spend that much time for the tutorial, but I do wanna show you the, the basic idea. So you're gonna take a brush, any brush you want. Um, I like these little um, charcoal brushes, um, but you can use any brush you want. And then you're just gonna just, very, um, use some details and just paint back parts of the face coming back. So this is, this is going to be part of the skin coming back over top of that texture. So essentially all we're doing is we're just painting back. Um, we erased part of the, the face and now we're just going to paint back um, the skin. So this is going to be the skin part that's coming back over it. Now you can use this brush, just a regular char charcoal brush, or you can use um, some foliage brushes or um, whatever you want to use, um, just according to your preference. But this is the basic idea. You just want to, to paint back the skin, use different sizes. You can make some little skinny things going on here, or you can do some, some real big, um, some fat pieces going in, you know, whatever looks good to you, but make sure you kind of switch it up every once in a while. And you're just going to paint in all these different pieces here. Okay, so you you can spend a lot of time doing this. And um, so what you want to do is you just want to make it look interesting. You're going to look like this, this face has just kind of been broken open. It's just kind of got a little bit of um, decay on the inside. And so you just want some little um, some little splinters of wood coming down and um, take your time with it. Don't rush this part. This is going to be the most interesting part of the picture, but you just want to do little 
um, little skinny splinters and just little neat effects going on here. And um, you can do, you know, all types of things. Like I've got some, I've got some tree brushes, for example. So here is like a, a tree brush and you can find these all over the internet. But here's like a tree brush and you could paint that in there. And then so you've got a tree going up for the edge of the skin. And it's just whatever you want to do. Um, I like to, to just kind of do little skinny uh, brush strokes everywhere, but you can use any type of brush you want and do all types of um, interesting little um, effects here. So I'm just going to do a few more little details here just to show you what it looks like to paint all of this. And like I said, I spent about three hours painting these um, in the original picture, so it, it definitely it, it pays to, to spend more time. Um, but for the, the, the tutorial, I just want to show you the basic ideas. And you can, you know, make some little, um, you can make some little roots kind of going up here and just kind of connecting them and, you know, whatever might look good to you, um, might look nice and interesting and um, definitely all the little details are what's going to make this picture pop. So definitely spend time on the details. So there's some little root uh, little root things going down there. Let's do some more up here. So let's have just some little roots going over here. And this is just a, just a really small, skinny charcoal brush. There's nothing nothing fancy about it. Okay, that looks good. And we'll do just a couple more little roots going out here. Okay, I think that looks good for now. Um, we could spend more time, but um, I think you get the idea of just painting back the skin and just making it look interesting. So let's zoom out, let's see how we look. That looks pretty neat, pretty scary, but that's what we're going for, so that looks fine. Um, let me show you, um, where we drew the, pit, the face earlier, we made the face disappear. Let me go ahead and turn that off and show what it looks like. You can see that um, if we didn't get the face gone, that you'd still see the eyes and the mouth and the nose and it just it just doesn't look right so this this is why we erase the skin but here's one thing i've noticed um right here on the bottom on the cheekbone right here you notice that um i didn't need to erase the skin right there so what we can do is we can actually just erase that stuff right in here let's use a softer brush we can erase that part of the skin that way it looks a little bit more realistic right in there. All right, that looks good. Okay, so we've got we've got the hole in the face. Um, one thing I don't like is I don't like how bright that wood is. It's just really bright, and if you're in the shadows, it's going to be a little bit darker, and it's also going to be a little bit um, less saturated. So let's go and do the saturation first. So just do a vibrance adjustment layer on it, and just take your saturation down. Um, Maybe just about halfway is fine. And then we'll do a levels adjustment on it. And I just want to make sure that that dark part is just a little bit darker. So just bring your blacks down and uh, we'll, we'll leave the whites alone. But um, bring your, your blacks down just a little bit and then take your contrast down over here with these blacks. Okay, it's still a little bit too bright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right down here um, below our um, texture and then I'm going to control click this white layer mask. So all of that stuff that we were painting earlier, I'm gonna make a layer below it and just do like a, a nice dull gray. And I'm just gonna paint right in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna fix this stuff over here on the sides. Okay, so all I did was I just made it a little bit darker. So that's before and after. And because it's in the shadow, obviously it's gonna be darker than that wood was originally. And that looks pretty good right there. And I think we can pretty much call that done right there. So that looks pretty good. It looks pretty scary. Um, you could uh, spend more time doing a little bit more um, edits on here. And what you would want to do is you want to do different spots. So you want to you want to take the um, you want to take this texture and then you can you can paint it um, you know you can paint it down here, oops, you can paint it down here on the neck or you can do it on the arms, um, wherever you want it to do. 
um, where it has this nice um, hollow effect. So, for example, if we were to take um, these this texture layers that we've already done, and let's just let's just copy that and let's just move it somewhere else. So you could actually just take that same hole that we just created, and you can put the same hole um, like right there on the neck. And then you could you could copy that one again, and you could take that same hole, and then you can put it right on the arm. You know, wherever you want it to do. Now I wouldn't do the same shape hole everywhere because that's going to look pretty obvious that you copied and pasted these holes. So if you do copy and paste, make sure you go back in, and then you can. Um, you can play with it a little bit. So you would want to, to go back in here on the arm, for example, and you'd want to just um, make the hole a different shape. Because if you don't make the hole a different shape, people are going to look at that and say, hey, you just copied, you copied these holes and it's the same hole everywhere. So make sure they look different. Um, but you can do it as many places as you want to. All right, so guys, that's the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Um, it's really fun to do. It's kind of creepy. This might be more appropriate for like a Halloween type thing, but it's really fun to do, and um, it's pretty easy to do. So just go out and shoot some textures of some trees and, and shoot a model and and uh, just do the multiply layer and have fun with it. But uh, I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, just uh, shoot me an email or uh, connect with me on Facebook, and I'll be uh, happy to respond. So thanks again, guys, and we'll check you back soon. Appreciate it.